Oh, Santa, we're so worried. Don't worry, Zoodle. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know when you're going to get a bloody nut crack, no. Or a whale stuck in your throat, like the Queen Mum. Sam, you're getting delirious. Oh, I'm a world-renowned puppet doctor. <laughs> What's your name? Keith Doctor Keith Harris. I've got one of your records. You were famous once. Might be again, son. Might be again. Now, pop along, all of you, while I try and cure your granddaddy. Harris, what are you doing here? You used to be famous, didn't you? Just because I haven't done the Royal Variety since 12 BC means nothing! Variety pack couldn't even spell it. Can too. D U C K. Duck. You're going to be my new duck, Mickey. Why me? Because you can't fly high up in the sky. Uh, I can. You can't? Yeah, what? Oh, bloody hell. Now I've got you where I want you. No, Keep no, still, no, Mickey. No, no, don't struggle. Ah! We've got good flies. You can. I bloody can't. You can! Isn't it cute, everyone? Well, it's me! No! No! It's not right! He's not my father! It's the work of the devil himself! Oh, oh no! The kids suck all the kiddies used to love! Silence, mother lover! Harris, did you think you could escape me? No, it's not fair. I need more time, please. A deal, a deal, Harris. And your soul belongs to me. I don't understand. Soul, deal, the man. What's it mean, then? Of course. This gets single from the late 17th century. I Can't Fly by Harrison Orville. Can you tell 350 there's still some left? I remember. I can't fly, I can't fly, I can't fly. Precisely, Mother. But sing that backwards. Oh, hang on. Okay. Love the devil, love the devil, love the devil. Oh, my smoking spank. Does that mean Orville, an anagram of evil role, is in fact the devil? And now Orville's come to claim Harris's soul back. And Harris has tried to use Grandad to hide from him. That's right. Come with me, Harris. The Courty, Alan, and Carol G are all waiting. It's gonna be one hell of a season. <laughs> for late at this time of night. Good evening. My name is Leslie Pride. I'm... I'm so sorry. Why, what's wrong? Well, it's just your exquisite beauty I was quite taken aback. Oh, silly. Do you want to come in and clean yourself up? Are you inviting me in? Of course, why? Well, I can't enter any home unless I'm invited. <laughs> What's this? Is it Rabina? No, it's points and points of hot, fresh blood. Not a virgin. No, I'm a Libran. Here, yeah, look at the state of yourself in this mirror. Oh, it's not working. The bloody batteries must be flat. That's all right, they never work for me. I believe it's because I have no soul. <laughs> Well, what a nice man! I say, Mr. Pride, you must have been tired. You slept all day in your coffin. Well, I don't like the sunlight, young Benny. Oh, why not? Because it burns me and reduces me to a pile of ashes. Christ! How long have you had that complaint? About 614 years. You can get cream for that, you know. Not for this, you can. Right, who wants dinner? Yes, please, Mumsy. I'll have some of your rump. No, see. Leslie, how about you? Is there any garlic in the food? Loads. We love it. Why? Because if I eat garlic, I ate 500 years in 30 seconds and then it's extremely jelly on the floor. So you don't like the French, then? No, I'm just... I'm dead! Wait, you mean like that Val Dunican? Just like that, yeah. 
Would you like a drink, Mr. Pride? Many thanks. What is it? Tesco's holy water. Are you trying to kill me, you little piece of shit? <laughs> right, everyone just calm down. I oh, know, let's play a game. Um, Gerard. Right, I'll start. Right, this is one of my favourite TV programmes. Now, fairly discontinued. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand it. Stop, stop. Then will you entertain us? Yeah, you said you've been a singer for about 600 years. You should know a song or two. Okay. Join in if you know the word. My name is Leslie Pride. 600 years ago I died. My teeth are razor sharp. To suck the blood from your still beating heart. I'm a vampire. He's I'm a vampire. vampire. I'm a vampire. <laughs> I tell you, he's a vampire. Don't be silly, Dirty. Yeah, shut up your cloth, bastard. Benny? I don't think a man of your age should still be believing in ghosts and ghoulies, Grandpa. Oh, stop it. I know what I know. I remember the Leslie Pride show in the 50s. I'm here, Leslie. Yellow bird, high up in banana tree. Ooh. A ah, yellow bird, high up in banana tree. Mm, mm. How you get so high, how it is you fly. Oh, yellow bird. Yeah, it's him all right. That fucking bastard. Right, it's up to me then. You ain't won yet, pride. Go on, stand down, yet. Oh, thanks very much, Mickey. It's very good of you. Not that I go swimming very often, you understand. Of course not. That's it. Keep drinking. And when that old pointy dude tries to suck on the jugular, wallop, more booze than blood. Oh, he's passed out. Had an audience do that once. No, no, I didn't know I didn't. Didn't have an audience. No, 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 seriously, seriously, no, I didn't. Seriously, bit tired myself. Mm -hmm. Morning. All oh, right, the whole celebrity's nowhere in sight. So my plan is to work. Yeah. <laughs> Holy water. <laughs> ah, would you do that for? Do you fancy some garlic? Ah, do you mind if I do? It's daylight outside. Hey, so? Nothing. Come on, let's go. Mad old fluffering <laughs> idiot. Hee <laughs> hee. Now I can tell bad jokes forever. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've created a flying super. It's untidy, filthy, dirty, nasty, messy. My mother used to say, a dirty house is a hairy house, and I know what she meant. Well, don't look at me, my little flower. My rubbish is always tidy. Me too, Mumsy. I only make a mess when I'm poorly. Yeah, don't blame me either. I'm old and frail, like a, like a discarded tissue. You three. You're nothing but charlatans, soup dragons. No more willing to lift your finger than fly to the moon. Not correct, Mother. For I, Benny Banner, of 23 Arse Terrace Dangleby, am ready and willing to fly to the moon. And furthermore, I await NASA's call. Well, do us all a favour and piss off, Carrot Top. Yeah, why don't you go up in a rocket ship and shout any shite sticks, you overeducated shit shovel? Mother! Ben. Well, well, how's it possible that he's my son? I've never figured it out, the big brain burnt body. It was the summer of 1969. We had a glorious time. Glorious Gainer. Gainer Hamilton, his name was. Memories are like the corner of my mind. Oh, no, no, I love it. Oh, boy. Boy. Ah. Well, I don't believe it. Oh, yeah. All right, love. Hello. My name's Gaynor. I'm from Cambridge. Are you aware of that today? Oh, really? 
Mr. Benson. Yes, Mr. Benson. Are you the Benson? No, but I've seen it. I'm a bus conductor and I read Mr. Benson. Mm, sure. Are you aware that Mr. Messi's longing to be tiny is a many faceted journey through the inner sections of hell? Why don't you shut up about it, Mr. Uh, well, film a tea. Oh, splendid. Loose as a goose. So Daniel was my father, then? That was no shit, Sherlock. Well? Clean and tidy, clean and tidy, let's be tidy. I'm the sheriff, and I want to clean up this too. Oh, Barry, how wonderful. Oh, Barry. He's lovely, but he's useless. If I'd stuck with Gaynor, then maybe I'd live in a mansion now. Maybe we'd have a swimming pool. Oh, I long for me own oasis! Oh, <laughs> Which is what I say right now, we're stuck about it being unruly, untidy, and getting into situations. It's just bullshit. What happened to Gaynor then? Not Benny, uh, We had one night of passion at his cousin's house in Notting Hill Gate. And then he did the dirty on me. Oh, Mumsy! Thanks for a lovely night, Lawrence. Done? Yeah, whatever. Uh, you wouldn't mind tidying up after you, would you? And uh, then open it. Only you see Danny will be back by 11 and he won't want to find you here. No. Go now. Walk out the door. Don't turn around, cos you'll... Shut up, you rat bag. Not welcome anymore. So are you saying that one night of passion with some demented Mr. Man freak crazy young Benny here? No, no, no. Yes. I got a snot bubble. I don't remember, officer. I lost my license a few years back, down the side of the cooker. I don't know. All this chattering and blubbering. What's going to happen to the cleaning up? Hello, Mrs. B. Do you need any cleaning done? Well, bugger me. Don't be ridiculous, it's only the phone. Right, family, after three, party noises. One, two, three. No, 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 no. Hello. What can I do you for, my lovely mother-in-law? Oh, you sound so sad. Is the news you bring bad? I'll go back to bed. I'll tell him Big Jock's dead. Oh. Barry, dear, don't be sad. I've got some news about your dad. Last night upon the pier, he saw a sign in neon which read, Rod Holmes here. When he saw Rod's name, he knew he'd bring his special friend Emu. He saw the show, he felt half his age, thought he'd take a trip backstage. He'd enjoyed the show, he'd had a laugh, but he wanted Rod Holmes' autograph. He likes you, Rod Hull said. But then that emu killed him dead. He grabbed his throat and snapped his neck and threw his body on the deck. The big job dead, but he'll be missed. And all because Rod Hull was... Oh! Feeling a bit silly. Who shot this dart in my bum? It was me, you dopey cow. It's an anti-rhyming dart. I can't bear you with your rhyming. Nah, 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 nah. Well, I can't help it. Anyway, Barry, your dad's dead. Big Jock? Dead? Oh, the McTartan clan will not sleep well tonight. Family gather round, it's time for a swim down memory lane. Lock up your grannies, smash up your clocks, fold all your bed sheets and eat all your socks. Big Jock is dead. First memories I have of the fat fuck is as a wee baby. 
We used to have such fun together. He loves him through in the air. Look at him. Turn around, do the spinning. He loves that. Do the spinning. Turn around. Turn around. He loves it. Look at his heart. The spinning around again. Do the spinning. Do the spinning. like a lovely man who'd look after animals and sometimes dance for himself without music. I thought he would, but my strongest memory is of the day he taught me how to swim. Son, you did. It was shortly after you were born. Okay, I think this thing's running now. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 look at him. Uh, hey, here I am with me grandson, Benny. Uh, Say hello to the camera, Benny. Uh, hello. Raise the light in the garden like a day Pigeon cannon. It's big. It fires pigeons at women. To assure you of your bride, just follow three simple steps. One, buy one. Two, point it at the woman you love. Three, fire it. And then love will be yours. The following reenactment is reenacted by real assholes. Morning, mate. Posty. Pigeon cannon. What does it do then? Fire pigeons at women? <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I'd love to stand here talking all day, but I'm damping your doorstep with my urine. <laughs> there are. <laughs> oh. get the feeling I've been here before. It's like an old friend at a family gathering. <laughs> oh! My, what a beautiful bird. Are you all right, my baby? Are you all right, woman? Well, perhaps a little days, but... Oh! Oh! So in love! Oh no! I can't take much more of this. If that love struck crazy hosh doesn't he stop slavering all over me, I'll bloody swim for her. I think you'd have to choose a real tragedy, Mr. B. I mean, your wife is effing gorgeous. Hey, have you got any more of those dicky videos? I mean, you've got to shift some more by case. Oh, shut up, Bingo! No time to be talking about dicky videos when my mother's in love with my father. That sounds like the perfect time to me. <laughs> Love is a many. What am I gonna do? Ah, what about that solve the mystery Scooby Dooby crime tape thing? Of course. The Scooby Doo interactive crime solvers video. Thank the monkey. This will do it. <laughs> Hi, we're the Scooby Doo gang. Welcome to our interactive video. Hi. What the fuck, Scooby? Well, that's a difficult question.
question. But here's the answer. Scooby was put down after developing some strange disease. But I kept his skin. I made a bag out of it. Ah, oh, Scoob! For Christ's sake, what do we do? Well, Mr. Scotchland, here's the solution. Well, Benny saw Barry with Bingo while Barry played Bingo all over Benny. A booby booby bum bum. Go sweat bum bum. Of course, the postman. Yeah, baby. Oh, a bald policeman with no hair. Two licks and one suck for luck. Crocker! Now tell me what you saw, oh nice and chubby baby. A big chicken! A big chicken? Mm, yeah, beautiful. That's right. I thought, oh, enough for a family of six there. All right, I'm out of here. I'll be out on the streets if you need me, like I need you. I'll use this special hair lotion to disguise me. Who loves you, baby? Who are you? Uh, uh, Dave Starsky, ma'am. And this is my partner, Ken Hutchinson. Silver Lady! Silver Lady? That's right. Don't give up on his baby! Is he all right? Fine, ma'am. Now, I believe some alcohol went missing when this chicken robbed you. Heavens, it's a drop on us. That's right, yes. You bloody stupid woman, and what if your husband wanted to swim, huh? I mean, uh, oh, that's unfortunate. Come on, let's see if we can't find this chicken. Don't give up on a silver lady, babe. Oh. So how do we get my shopping back, Mr. Starkers? Well, ma'am, this foghorn ass blast is a great fan of the brotherhood of man. So? so, we sing a couple of numbers from their greatest hits and he'll come a-running. Couple of numbers? Well, that's pushing me. Shut up. I'm the policeman. Hey, Huggy, what's the word on the street? The word B, man, the fog gets to leave by damn downtime. You cool? Well, what's that supposed to mean? It means Foghorn Ass Blast is on his way. Thanks, Huggy, you little snitch. Don't shiv, no problem, man. I said, 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 I Sing, sing the pair of you. I'll shoot at you. Better sing, Save all your kisses. Stop right there. How's the commander? That's right, baby, kind of, sort of. Remember my special hair lotion? We was made a secret colonel's recipe of 15 herbs and spices. Now I am the colonel and I feel like ch 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 dead tonight. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you, Mr. Strauss. Would you like a baby cardigan in my pool? No, but I wouldn't mind a swim in it if you didn't know what I mean. 